Good Thursday morning, everyone. It's 21 News Chief Meteorologist Eric Wilhelm here. It's an early morning update on our changeable weather today. We have a cold front passing through the region as we speak. It will, of course, usher in cooler air today. We've got some rain to contend with. And then tonight, we have some lake effect snow to talk about. Let's uh, start with the uh, surface map this morning. I have the isobars plotted up. I have the fronts drawn on here, and our front is pushing through <clears throat> just after daybreak this morning. Also, some bouts of moderate rain will push through over the next few hours or so, and temperatures have already started to drop rather precipitously. And uh, that trend will, of course, uh, continue over the next uh, few hours. As uh, expected, our temperatures will just sort of flatline around 40 or so this afternoon. It's not hard to find where our front is this morning. Still hanging on to 50 in Pittsburgh temporarily, but we've dropped down into the lower and middle 40s. Even colder air off to our north and west, and that's the air that, of course, is coming our way as we go into uh, tonight. And tomorrow, it'll be cold enough tonight for some lake effect snow to get going. In the meantime, the timing on our rain uh, tapers off towards midday. This is the uh, simulated radar at 1 p.m., 2 p.m. By 3 p.m., it's gone. As the kids get off the bus this afternoon, the rain should be gone. A lot of people heading home from uh, work later on today. We should be dry, and a little uh, quiet interval will transpire late this afternoon and into this evening. Now, as we head into the overnight tonight, and this colder air continues to pour in, the lake water temperature, the Lake Erie water temperature, is still in the mid-50s. The air temperatures a few thousand feet above our heads will be in the teens. So you're setting up a big temperature gradient between the air temperature, especially upstairs a little bit, and then the water temperature on the Great Lakes. So yeah, lake effect snow will get going. And for us, what this means is by about 3 or 4 in the morning, there should be a pretty good couple of bands coming off of Lake Erie and impacting parts of southwest New York, northwest PA, and northeast Ohio. And in our television viewing area, this may be especially an issue for uh, the wee hours of the morning tonight and into tomorrow morning uh, for areas north of Interstate 80, Trumbull, and Mercer County. And then the lake effect will kind of quickly fizzle out by tomorrow morning. How much snow are we talking about? Here's a I'll look at just one model, but I think it's uh, handling things pretty well. There probably will be a couple of bullseyes with this. One will be no surprise in the in the primary snow belt. So just east of Cleveland, heading over into Geauga County, and uh, you know some places in Geauga County might get four or five, six inches worth of uh, snow. Oops, I didn't mean to launch that. Uh, four or five uh, inches worth of snow will be a possibility, again, for parts of the higher terrain of Geauga County, parts of Ashtabula County, into uh, Crawford County, PA, so over towards Meadville, and then up into uh, southwest New York and closer to Erie, PA as well. That's where the bullseye is. But in our TV viewing area, could someone get an inch or so as far south as Cortland, Southington, Kinsman, Greenville, maybe even over towards uh, Sandy Lake, into the Mercer area, transfer? Yeah, that's going to be a possibility. You know, we're not looking at a lot of snow here, but for early morning risers on Friday, I, I do think that it will be possible for some uh, tricky travel conditions. If you're heading on the turnpike, out of our area and up towards Cleveland, you'll be heading through some snow bands for a little while early in the day on our Friday. All right, after a quiet start to the weekend, real quickly, we'll talk about Sunday into Monday into Tuesday. This is Sunday, rain pushing in. It's too warm for any snow on Sunday. But by Monday, the colder air is back. And while it probably is not much more than flurries for a lot of the, the midday, early afternoon, as we transition into the late afternoon, evening hours, and overnight hours, Monday night, pretty good looking lake effect setup. And unlike tonight's setup, this could be more of a northerly flow kind of an event. And that would include that would uh, make it so more areas in our TV viewing area would be included in the possibility of accumulating lake effect snow. And this would be Monday night into Tuesday morning. This will be the most active period in the run up to Thanksgiving for holiday travelers next week. I do think things will quiet down in a hurry. Um, by Tuesday night into Wednesday. In fact, real quickly, next Wednesday, this is the busiest travel day of the year for many places, and dry air will be overhead for us locally. If you're traveling to the west or to the east, doesn't look too bad on Wednesday. New England might have to deal with some wind and maybe a little wintry weather, but uh, I don't think that the day before Thanksgiving will be all that impactful. And then for Thanksgiving itself, no uh, model data right now is showing anything all that impactful across our area. All right, uh, check out more long-range thoughts this evening on Weather for Weather Geeks. That'll be online about 7.30 or so. In the meantime, uh, enjoy the rest of your Thursday and bundle up. It's turning chilly out there this morning.